All right. So uh, over the last uh, probably two weeks, uh, the city has been uh, working on an emerging issue uh, related to animal control services. Uh, historically, uh, animal control services have been provided uh, for the city by the Scott County Humane Society through a contract. Uh, after some conversations, the city and the Humane Society were unable to reach a new uh, agreement. Uh, so with that being said, we have been working on bringing animal control uh, in-house and switching to an in-house service model. Uh, obviously, that requires that we uh, have staff to be able to help with that. Uh, so what you have in front of you is a revised job description for the Code Enforcement Officer 1. We currently have a list for this that you approved back in February. Uh, I believe there are roughly 15, 16 names left on the list. Because the majority of the activities that would be done related to animal control fit mostly within this job description, uh, issuing citations, enforcement, that type thing, we felt like this was probably the best job description. Uh, but we did need to add a few things uh, related specifically to animal control. And because there uh, is a substantive change to the job description, uh, I felt like we needed to bring that back to you for approval since we are uh, recommending using a current list. Uh, so what you'll see, uh, we have changed the rate of pay there. We've worked with the union over about the last week or so uh, on this job description and the rate of pay. So we have changed that from a grade 12 to a grade 15. Uh, we've also updated some language related to scheduling just to clean that up and, and provide some greater flexibility. And then lastly, uh, under examples of duties, we added one bullet point uh, here for you uh, that does allow these employees to respond to animal calls and actually perform the capturing part of animal control, uh, issue the citations, transport uh, animals to the shelter, and investigate complaints. So again, we've, we've worked with the union uh, on reviewing the job description. I believe we're in agreement. Uh, AFSCME, there's a representative from AFSCME here today. This is Kelly. Uh, so if you would like to hear from her, I'm sure that she, she would welcome that too. So any questions that you have? Yes. Um, does this include just one person or more than one? Nope, the proposal right now uh, under the proposed staffing model would allow us to hire four additional uh, Code Enforcement One officers. We currently already have one. So her position would be reclassified into this one and then hire four more, which would give us a total of five. And what facility would they use, the one that they're currently using? We are... Uh, Working through that issue right now, uh, we are looking into uh, a model that would allow a current nonprofit to run the sheltering component, and then the city would take on more of the capturing and the enforcement part. And so, but currently it's going to remain the way, I mean, we won't be without a shelter while you're working on that. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we recognize the importance of uh, maintaining both aspects of animal control, which is the sheltering and the capturing. And will the current group continue to work enforcing and providing shelter for the rest of the county? I believe that is uh, their intent, yes. Will they have enough money? I could not speak uh, on behalf of them regarding that. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Kelly, you have anything to say? The mic. After last, after last Friday's meeting, we worked with Human Resources and Rich Oswald. We agreed to all the modifications that have made been made to the job description. And um, we really appreciate working with you and listening to our concerns about the position. Um, it, it's going to be a good fit and will evolve as needs arrive. Thank you. Hold, hold it. Oh, is that a question? I'm sorry. Yeah, question. <laughs> I, I I shouldn't care, but I do. What will happen to the people who are working at the County Humane Society right now? Will they lose their jobs? I really can't speak to that. I don't work for the county. I don't know um, if they have the manpower. They still have uh, Bettendorf and uh, the smaller townships in Scott County to enforce. It would just be Davenport that they, as far as I, as far as I know, that they would be not enforcing any longer. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I have a question, I guess. It's, it's my yeah. assumption that uh, uh, we're making these changes because of the fact that they didn't have the money or they didn't want to uh, continue with the uh, contract that they have before. Yeah, what, uh, and I know that it's been in the media also, but uh, the current contract was a little over $200,000 that uh, the city provided to the Humane Society. Uh, what they had come back with was a proposal that increased uh, the city's contract by roughly 300%, which was just fi not financially feasible for the city. 300%? Yes. Okay, that's all. So we need a motion mm -hmm. if there's no other questions. I move the acceptance of the job description and conditions as of, uh, presented. I second it. All in favor, sign of aye. 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 Uh, so moved. Uh, seeing that that's, unless there's anything else, uh, old business, I move th that we uh, have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor, sign of aye. 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 Thank you. I won't be here on the 10th. Right. Okay. That's what you had said before. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, You'll be, uh, be here. Uh, they actually get put in.